what type of cruel human being do you need to be to not just murder your own sister but bury her in your backyard and pretend like all is well this happened in Bulawayo in 2017 what a strange world we live in this story begins in Bulawayo the second biggest city in Zimbabwe in a suburb called Old Magwagwe at number 1339 lived three relatives Sindindo Nguve a 28 year old patient Nguve his little sister a 24 year old and his cousin Angela Chuma this house belonged to their grandmother who had permanently moved to Nkai in her old age which is around 168 kilometers from Bulawayo Gai comes from the Tonga word Uinkai which means where are you going? This is completely unrelated to the story, but I just talked too much. Selindi, the only man in the house, was a drunkard and generally problematic. He used to steal property from the house and sell it so that he could drink and party with his friends. Patience, his little sister on the other hand, was unproblematic and quiet. She was also a hard worker working at Chopper's supermarket in Intumbane. Their cousin Angela Chuma traveled to Esgodini, which is a town that is 145 kilometers away from Vulawayo, on Pes no business. She returned the next day and could not locate her cousin patient. And when she asked her big brother about it, he claimed that he last saw her entering a car that had South African number plates with a man and he believed that this man was her boyfriend. Angela did not find any of this information suspicious because Patience was 26 years old, which is kind of normal for her age. She believed that Patience would eventually call her or text her about her whereabouts. It was only when she entered Patience's room later that day that she realized that all her makeup and her essentials were still in her room, meaning that she could not have gone anyway. So she made police report. She told the police that she assumed that something had happened to her because she never went anywhere without her essentials. Meanwhile, patient's boss also called Angela, claiming that she did not show up for work and he was a bit worried about her. The police were a bit reluctant to search for patients because she was a woman of marriageable age, which means that she could have eloped. So they needed at least seven to two hours to take her missing person's report seriously. Angela then questioned her neighbor, Mr. Sitavile Mawere, who claimed that he had seen her older brother digging a pit at around 5 a.m. on the 15th of June 2017, which was a bit odd to him, but he didn't find it suspicious. He also claimed that he had seen him throwing an object inside the pit, but he did not think much of it. It was only when Angela told him that Patience was missing that he began to think maybe he could have killed her and buried her in the backyard. Angela was very worried, so she alerted the police of this new information. She knew that her older cousin was problematic, but she never thought that he could ever harm a fly. The police wanted to question Selindi, who was the last person to see patients alive, first before digging on the yard. They arrived at the house on the 19th of June, five days after she went missing, and Selindi was nowhere to be found. He had fled. This was clearly an admission of guilt and this gave the police the audacity to dig around the yard. They dug where they saw a fresh mound of soil, and after 20 minutes, they found her body wrapped in a blanket. Selindi had attempted to conceal his murder by growing onions on top of the grave. They also found a blooded pillow in his room, indicating that he could have attacked her while she was asleep. Unfortunately, no one can ever know what drove him to attack and kill and bury his sister, but it is assumed that she could have confronted him about his drinking habits and his stealing habits and he got angry and wanted to discipline her. One thing is for certain he had intended to kill her and he showed no remorse by burying her and continuing to live like nothing had happened. He lived in the same house for five days knowing that he had brutally murdered his baby sister. He is still on the run and has not been located. It is believed that he fled to South Africa. My hope is that justice will be served for patients Mure. I specifically made this video to bring awareness to this heinous crime hoping that it might assist in any way to get him captured. May Passion's soul continue to rest in eternal peace. So I'm a lazy person but I try to make these videos four times a week to assist me. You can subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever that you can do to help my videos reach more people. Ciao!